Okay, welcome everyone to the class today. Today, the first half will be um, the revision of function and variable. And then the next half will be JavaScript. We're starting with Spiro Edu. Everyone open Spiro Edu app. I hope everyone, oh, something wrong with my screen. Okay. Good now. Everyone see the screen? Open Spirit at your app. Today we learn about the revision, revision of functions and variable. Anyone um, tell me what this function is? Raise your hand. Um, Ishak. A function, a function on like a variable, um, like it like makes, um, a function on like a variable. You um, it's like it's like you tell things what to do with what you have. Like for example, if you wanted to make um if you want to make um the the sphere go into a square like five times mm -hmm. then or you, then you would just have to do um go zero degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees over and over again but with a function it's more easy you can just slam the bricks rather than having to get all the bricks and then you have to type in five times so like it's so like so like um it makes things easier and um helps things do stuff more quicker. Great job. Is that a good explanation? Yeah, that that's a perfect explanation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So function is is a routine you do again and again, and you don't want to keep. Uh, keep retyping them. You you group them into call one function. So all you need to do is just call that function. That's it. It's very simple. So you call the function. It's just one line. You call it instead of just doing let's say do a square. You have to move four or five times. You don't want to do that. You just call that function. That function. We just do the whole thing for you. That's what function. How about variable? Today, do you know what variable is? Friday or Friday? Friday. Friday, yes. And my app isn't really working. My phone is gone off so i wouldn't really be able to code okay so you, you you do not charge the phone uh no okay have you charged the spiro mini oh uh, yes okay or uh, maybe you just watch along for the class okay okay thank you Hang on. There. There. Um, the variable is the number that's been recorded. So, for example, Dev, I can't really hear you, Dev. Can you, even last week, it's very hard to hear you. Is it possible that you move closer to the, to the phone or your tablet? Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. 
So a variable is, for example, a number that you're recording. So for example, I have five apples in the fridge and I took away one apple and it'll change it to, I have four apples in the fridge. Good job. That's very good. Variable is just storage of something that can be changed based on your action. So they keep track of all of that. Let's say a variable to keep track number of apple in your fridge. It's just a, it's, it's just to keep track of things. And if you take an apple away, you just decrement that variable by one. So that instead of five, now become four. Okay, let's start with the quick zero mini. It's look like you know all of our function and variable. That's good. I'm really happy for that. Great job, everyone. Um, Connect to your Sphere Mini. By now, everyone should be very fluent to it is. Then you need to M. Everyone should know how to do it by now. Then create a program, Sphere Mini. Today we use block. Start the program. First thing you do, maybe you create a function. Okay, a function called run in square. Run in square, what you do is you go into the movement. You so said you have to name your function to something that um, you name function that supposed to do things you want. Run in square, it's obviously when people read it, it's like, ah, the spirit is going to run in square. Or uh, run in straight action or whatever you want run, turn left turn right so you should one of the thing is you should name your function uh to give the reader what it's supposed to do okay so what you do is row at maybe for two seconds, then you row fifty two seconds, you do another row. Fifty. Two seconds. Let that row. Two Okay, don't need that. That should make your sphere running in square. Okay, I call it. Very simple. Track running square in. That's it. On the start, you don't have to do all of this. If you want to run the square in two times, do that. Very simple. Do you want to run in square in three times? Like this. Or you can make things 
you can use the loop function, but maybe we, we just do this too. I want to highlight the benefit of using function. You said you do all the row thing again and again, you just go run it square twice. Now, if you start the program, the square row should run in square. Put it down. Maybe you can you do speak. Now. And you just got a function. That's it. Very simple, everyone. Let's start. Again, make sure your sphere on the large flat surface. If it's on the table, you want to make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay, so that's it, the benefit of the function. Okay, now you want a variable. Variable. Because variable and function are quite advanced concepts. So that's what I want to revisit one more time before we move to JavaScript. Otherwise, it's going to be quiet. I don't want you, you guys to fall behind. Create, create a variable, you just create one. And then you just say string. Maybe. It's a number. Make it fifty. Okay. Now you can see on this side, you can have speed, which is variable, which is one, and you have a block to set it. Okay, so you start program, you set the speed. And then what you're going to do, you modify this function. Create a function and with speed. Add a number in. Okay. Then here, track the whole thing. Speed. Six. 
So what this one doing e it's called parameter okay parameter is 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 that you you type in what speed in here you just pass in parameter is like a variable okay but you pass in into a function a parameter is like a variable but we we're going to pass into the function now instead of running at speed 50, like before, you pass in a variable with some values, okay? So now you, you understand function, you understand variable. Now I'm gonna move this, okay. I'm gonna move this one, delete that one. And then in here, the function you put in run with speed. Now, if you want to go fast, you put 590. So at the moment, we have a function like this. Sorry, everyone, we're gonna get a bit more complicated. So it's okay if you don't understand yet, I will slowly explain. You see the problem with the speed here is you, it's very hard to adjust the speed using this bar. So this, you got running square, you have to put into the speed every time. Whereas with running speed, instead of putting the number in each, you pass in a variable called num zero, okay? And then you call a function called run with speed and you pass in number 90. What does it mean? It, it will actually run with that speed 90. Now, if you want it run slower, you just put 20. That's it. So now you've got 20. You're going to run at speed 20, which is slow. If you want fast, you put in 90, maybe 100. That's it. So let's start with 10 and then program it. Okay, so I want to explain the concept again. It's a bit hard. We got a two function called running square. That function, we don't pass any parameter, okay? So because you don't pass any parameter, you have to put the speed every single time. Whereas we got another function called run with speed. That run with speed, what they do, they pass in a parameter. The parameters called num zero. Now that parameters is the speed. So parameter is just like a variable that you can change when you pass it into a function. Now instead of putting 49, 58, 56, 57, you just put num zero, which is the actual speed. And now you call the function called run with speed with number 10. What does it mean? They're going to run in the square with speed 10. If you want the number to be faster, it's speed 100. That will run fast. That's it. I hope you understand the concept of function, variable, and parameters. Mm -hmm. It is a bit more advanced, but I hope you understand it. Now, for now, I leave the program here for you to look through and
we gonna try to explain it. I'm going to take question. Everyone see my program okay or no? Looks like my frozen, right? Check. Let me see. Okay, let's, I, I'm going to unmute Isaac first. I think somehow my, my Zoom got frozen. Let me try to stop sharing and share again. Okay. Somehow my Zoom here got frozen. Okay, I leave the program there for you to have a look. And while I try to see what's going on with my computer. Right, I'm gonna go through you now. Go through the chat. Ishak, you raise your hand. I think I might have wanted to say something. Yes. But I think I forgot. But I do know, but I do know the Python um coding script, um a bit of not not JavaScript but Python script a little bit of it a tiny bit of it print, so I this might be a little easy for me, Java. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to. Have to restart the computer, but yeah, hang on. Are you going to mute me? Mantika, do you have any question? Uh, yeah, how did you make the run with speed function again? I'm pretty confused of how you got to add the number. I lost track. Oh, I can't really hear you very well. Sorry. Can you, okay. Oops. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Uh, I think you got some uh, issues. Monisha. Yes? How did you do like set? Um, set um set speed to because I can only do set and then two set to speed. Okay, you want to know what's set speed to? Okay. And also, Mantiga was asking whether you could do um that run in square one again or run with speed one again you see the screen you see my screen yes so you got run in square and run with speed mm, yes but i'm talking about set speed to 50. oh set speed okay okay if you want to you want to speed okay i understand i understand what you're saying okay 
Now, let's say you, if you want speed to 50, you want running with speed, you put speed in here. Yeah, but how do you do set speed to? Yeah, you see, you see the block in the bottom there? There is set speed to. Yeah, but how do you do set speed to? Because when I write it, it's set to speed 50. We can't, we can't have space set to speed. You, you can only, if you create a variable, then this block automatically created for you by the program. Okay, so I just write set and two together. You put this, right? Because when you create a variable called speed, set speed two will be done automatically. So then we just do set two. <laughs> you, set, you set the speed to whatever number you want. Let's say if you want the number 20. No, not that. I'm talking about set speed two. Do we just, yeah, you just set yeah. and two together? Yeah, you just you just drag them up here like this. No, can you create the variable again? Okay, so you just create a variable. Let's say second speed. Okay, and then it's a number, and you put a number to fifty. That's it. So you can straight away you see the set second speed and speed. Is it answering your question? Yes? Is it answering your question? Okay. All right, I leave it here for you to have a look. Is everything, everyone okay? Thumbs up. I want to see, are you okay? Okay, good job. Everyone seems to understand the issues. It's a bit more complicated than, um, than normal, <laughs> but it is what it is. You have to learn more things. And it's getting more complicated, but then you can do more powerful things. You can do a lot more powerful things with, with this kind of um, um, I leave you two minutes to understand the two different concepts. Okay. So you got a variable here. You got a function here. You got a function with parameters. You use the par uh, the variable to pass into the function as parameters. And now, if you want to run fast, you just put maybe 100 here, 200. It's going to run lightning fast, right? If you want to slow, all you need to do is just one thing: put number five here. That's it. It is that simple, and it will run with the speed low, very speed five, which is extremely low. I leave it here for you to copy. If you have question, I'm ready here to answer your question. Let me see. Okay, I'm trying to look if you have any question. Uh, Catherine, can you stop spamming? Please, thank you. Ishaq, do you have any question? So, uh, um, is it supposed to go 
um, five speed, and my sphere does this really weird thing. So if, I set, does... so, I, so if I set the um, speed to 0 0.000001, just nah. look at it. Just look at it. It's going to be a joke. No, I mean it's you not. have to. No, if I if I put at zero point zero 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 one, it's going to go quite fast. I like to be speedy and run in square. Do you have a function defined? No, uh, it's very it's quite slow. Uh, I thought it went fast. No, but... you have to put twenty. You you put fifty for me. If if I put to nine nine nine, I like to be speedy and run in square. This... You see, it's lightning okay. fast. Okay, I thought that there was something weird with my sphere. I thought when it went nine and nine nine, it was going, it was going slow. I think it did. No, it's all good. Your sphere mini doing great jobs. Your program doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. Also, I like. Also, once I actually made the Sphero do a, um, a hand massage and it spins so much. Oh, uh, I saw that. <laughs> I saw the your massage game. That's it's great. Like, like, okay. okay. Jeff, you have any question? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. How do I put my JavaScript code back into the JavaScript code area? Oh, I did we, haven't it on started, we haven't started JavaScript yet. I just wanted to make an edit to it using JavaScript. Um, we haven't started JavaScript yet. We will very soon. Okay. I hope everyone understands this. I want to... Um, I want you all to revisit this because it's a very important concept that you need to learn. You need to know function, you need to know variable, you need to know parameters, you need to know all of that in programming. So those, um, I mean, for, for your age are a bit more advanced, but if you want to really code for living like me, and you must understand all of this, otherwise, sorry, you don't have a job. <laughs> you must know all of this, okay? Um, yeah, that's, it's fundamental that you understand and use them, okay? Now, go back. We're gonna start JavaScript, everyone. Are you excited? You excited? JavaScript? Anyone know what is JavaScript? <laughs> if you're excited, you have to know what it is. Why are you excited? <laughs> I can tell you JavaScript is boring. <laughs> all, right. all right, let's say Mantika. What is that? You have a question and you want to talk about it. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, yes. So the in the code you just recently made, the yes. one before we we're going to do JavaScript. How yes. did you do that set, uh, set speed to number five? Uh, speed number five. Yeah, how did you make that uh, variable? You don't have to do anything. It's, it's already automatically here. It's on variables, but then yeah. why can't I see it? Did you create a variable? No, I didn't create a variable yet. You have to create a variable. I taught you. Oh, have you so created? Have oh, you created yeah. variable yet? How to make a variable? Not yet. Yeah, you have to create it, and then that set will automatically oh, will how appear. To make a variable. Okay, so do you like make call it second speed? I want to make a cake for Zoe. Do you, you call have to it create a variable first? Okay, so how do you make that variable? Can you take me through it? Just create here. Let's say this is called, okay. this is my third time doing that, right? That's it. Okay. And this is a number, you select a number. 
Can you set the number like say 50? Okay. Done. So you got third speed and you got a set. In the set, you can have third speed, second speed, third speed. Oh, okay. Want. And then you Understood. can it over. Okay, and then change the number to five. And change the number to five. Thank you, thank you so much. So now the speed now is five and you've run with that speed five. Okay. Yep, I got it, thank you. Got it, great job. Okay, let's go to JavaScript everyone. I'm gonna stop sharing screen. Okay, everyone, you have to allow all the hand first. Raise your hand if you know what is JavaScript. I'm gonna start. Ishak, wow, you quick. So for example, for example, you know a coding script. So like, you know, Python, um, yeah. JavaScript, JavaScript um, is like JavaScript is like Python, but there are different words and same like a coding language. It like tells the computer what to do in in its own language, because you can't just run the keyboard. Computer, make me show me a picture of green eggs and ham for, by Dr. Seuss. You you can't just do that. The computer is like. The computer just takes that as some weird, um, as some weird writing, and then you see, like, yeah. like okay, if, you send, if you send it through the internet, then it still counts as weird writing, um, but it just sends it nonetheless. And and one of the main common things in um, <laughs> in in languages is um is like you can't put spaces otherwise the otherwise the computer thinks that doesn't even know what the space means okay um you close but not 100 percent javascript <laughs> is a programming language it's very That's what I was trying to say yes you are you are i think i know what you think i'm going to share the screen I hope you see it. What is JavaScript, everyone? JavaScript, or they call JS, is a programming language. It's like one of the core technologies of the web. So as you know, you're browsing the web now. Every single page you go, I can guarantee there's JavaScript behind it. All the web pages you've been to, including this one. You have tons and tons of JavaScript inside to do what it is. So JavaScript is probably one of the most popular programming language in the code web programming, right? But if you do, let's say if you want to work as a programmer later, you want to develop the web, you must know JavaScript. I don't expect you in the next few lessons to understand everything of JavaScript because you can't, but it should give you some introduction. Okay, what JavaScript is useful? Okay, let's see. Let's go back to some fundamental JavaScript. The text base. Mainly for HTML. Every day you use, you go on a website, pretty much this is JavaScript. For creating the web, web, mobile apps, web app, games, you know, Roblox, you should know all of that. Um, develop based on a lot of JavaScript. Not, not, not Minecraft. Roblox it is, okay? Minecraft based on Java. 
JavaScript and Java are different, very different. It's just different programming language. Okay. Okay. Let's do some fundamental of JavaScript. You need to know JavaScript. So this is called variable. I teach you variables on blocks. This is how you do variables. You see it? They arrange the first thing you must know is variable. Variable, this is how you do variable in JavaScript. VAR stands for variable. X equal to five. So you can do um, what I call, okay. as you can annotate. You have to do var speed equal to five. It's equivalent to the previously I teach you about speed block, variable speed. Okay, and then the next one, it's going on objects, an array, function. See that? Function here. You must know about function. This is how they call create a function. So if you've got a function that I teach you there called run in square, this will become run in square or run with speed. Okay. Uh, Thomas, I give you the last chance. But why I kick you out of class? This is my last chance. Your last chance, otherwise you will be out. Understand? I do not accept spamming in my class. I see you one more time, you out the class. Okay, now, how do we do? So, so we have function, you have variable that you've learned, a variable, a function, okay? Uh, do they tell you about parameters? Uh, no, they don't tell you parameters yet. It's okay. Maybe you can. Yeah, this is the one I teach you there. You can pass the speed in. So you got a function, you got parameters. What I pass it in there, just now I showed you is num zero. And then you can spot the speed in. You got a parameter one. You got run with speed. You pass speed in. You use them. So inside here, parameter is treated like a variable. Okay, I know I know it's a lot to learn, but that's that's how the concept is. Yeah. Monisha, have any questions? Is JavaScript, and, uh, is JavaScript and HTML the same thing? No. HTML is the, they call hyper markup language. It's it just, it's just how it, okay, maybe I, I show you what's the difference. So you got this page, do view page source. It's a bit small. Okay, this is how a professional programmer do. You see that function, the block, called script, that's JavaScript, okay? You have another script here, it's JavaScript. And then you have a odd HTML here, it's called HTML, okay? You got a function, you see var. 
CKS status, that's got variable. And then you got a function, fix CKS in here. You, you got a variable, you got if statement, you got else, you have a function here. You pass in the parameters, you got star. Okay, so this is what you see. This is what you see when you open the web page. This is actually underlying what is in here. This is a HTML. All of this is HTML. And then on the top, we all JavaScript. All the script here are JavaScript. All of these, all of these are JavaScript. Okay. I don't expect you to know all of this, right? It's a bit complicated. It's very complicated. But that's what it is. So this is what you see. This is exactly underlying what what the computer they tell the computer what to do not including a mix of html you see javascript function parameter this is html and this is javascript i hope it makes sense okay i open it bigger so that you can see okay all the meta or the link are html All the script, you got function, got parameters, all of these are JavaScript. I can give you a test of how JavaScript works. Let's say this function, got a variable here, got a function. This is a function name. You got a parameter here, a variable here, and you call another function. You pass in the parameters. Yeah, it's like this, okay? Understand? We don't want to go that far. Stop sharing now. So that's how JavaScript is. JavaScript is fully integrated with uh, HTML to in the web base. Now we go to the actual work, what we're going to do. There you go. Let me go back. Let's do a JavaScript function. Connect this very mini first. What are you going to do? Aim. Okay. You should be professional at this. Create a program. My first Java script. So we create a program called my first JavaScript. Now, very important here, everyone pay attention. Pay attention, everyone. Instead of using block, there will be a text next to block. Everyone pay attention to this. You have draw, you got blocks, and you got text. You have to select text. Everyone make sure you select text, click create. Oh uh, no. There you go. There's a function here. Every Everyone remember why I teach you function? This is really underlying the, that's what it is, the function is.
All right, everyone on the same page? We do our first Sphero ADU JavaScript. So we do await speak. You can see the, the highlight. I can tell you then you need a bracket. For the quote. Hello. I am a rocket. Do quotes. Then just speak true. And you need brackets. Okay. JavaScript, every line, every statement we call statement, have to end up with a semicolon. You see that? You don't have semicolon, we have problem. You need a semicolon at the end. And then you can do set main let to color. Now it's it's complicated. You can't initially you say just say blue. Okay. You can't do it because let a color is combination of red, green, and blue. So we have to they call RGB. So you need to write. R component, uh, zero, G, G, so RGB is Maybe and you need a oh, close bracket. Where's my close bracket? Where's my other colors? Maybe we do this it's a bit hard. We will start with this first. Okay. This is your first ever program. You always say the Taylor Word program. Okay. Let's start. So when the program run, they will say, hello, I am a rocket. Well done, everyone. If you follow this, this is your first ever JavaScript program. Okay. 
This is your first JavaScript program with Spiro Mini. I will turn on the thing. Let me see. They will say hello. I am a rocket. Now I leave it here for you. I'll start answering you some questions. And then I think I'm I'm aware that we are come, but I'll take another extra two minutes to answering all your questions. Yes. Um, I have a question. Yes. So on game building programs like Unity and those sort of things, what does JavaScript apply? Uh, Unity. Yeah, like Unity. Unity game. Or oh, they use. Uh, Unity is 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 they use different. It's not JavaScript. So would it be Python script? No. Unity we use most likely. Um, they call the. You can you require a lot of graphics, so you can't use JavaScript. You have to use um, most likely C++. It's another programming language. Yeah, I know about C++. Yeah, most likely they use the game engine. So it, it must be C++. Yeah. OK. Unity written in C++. I'm right. You check. Something needs happened. Can you write? Does your program say hello? I'm a rocket. Yes. You have a semicolon at the end. Look, look at. Oh, I think I figured it out. You you must have oh, a wait. Look, look. Is it what? Let me see. Stop sharing now. Ping me, ping me so you can see me. Spotlight. Okay, hang on. That program. Oh, the, you remove the select, uh, the set man left. You remove the whole thing first for me. Where? Remove the, the second line, set man led. Just remove it. The second. Next week, next week we're going to work on that. Today the we're just starting. Line? The fourth line? They call set man led. You remove the whole line. Okay, that's the fourth line. Yes, remove the whole thing. Jab, 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 jab. Now let me see. Still doesn't work. No. No, you have, you have to leave the speak line. You have to await speak. Yes, but, I did. And then bracket and then and then the two quotation marks and then hello, comma, I'm a rocket. Do you have a closing quotation mark? Yes. Oh. And a full stop and then blue true. Um, close it on with another bracket and no, then, I think and, then syntax error. and then the dot with the comma. Can you share the screen? If I want to share the screen and then I'm unable because I'm using the iPad as my. That's okay. You you can use in Zoom and you can share the screen. You got to the Zoom? Oh. Yes, yes, but I'm unable. I'm unable to share the screen. Yes. Mantika, say hello. I am a rocket. Yes, it's supposed to say that. If you, if you can do it, well done. Yeah, I did. I did the exact. All right. Put it, put it, um, put it close to the camera. I want to see you one more time. Because your. Oh, okay. oh no. Because uh, you. I think you've done everything except when you. When you speak, you have to do a double quote. Say hello. You need that. You need to double. 
Does it, do I need to uppercase it? Look, I share you again. You have to do exactly what I'm doing, otherwise it won't work. Um, you have a double quote before hello, and then you got the whole thing, and you have to double quote at the end. Yes, I do. I have both. I have both double quotes. Look, look, check your program. It's not correct. You have to check your program. Don't say you did because it's not. I'm. I see the double quotation marks. Do you have the one at the end of rocket? Yes. You have a comma right after that? Yes, right at hello. No, yeah. At the end of rocket, you must have a double double quote. A comma. Full stop. No, you have to have a comma, not full stop. Oh, so that's what it was. Yes, comma and then true. And run it. Still unexpected token. No. Comma or... Oh, I get why. Do we need that... Uh, um, could, could you enable um, annotate for only me? Because I think I, I think I want to point something out. Uh... You see, you see the bracket um, at line four? You need a closing bracket, yes. So I need a so I need a bracket at line four. Yes, you do. You need a closing bracket. Oh. You need that. Do I need that at line four? Yes, you do. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Hello, I am a rocket. Is it work now? Yes. Did you hear it? Hello, yes, I, I am a rocket. Great job, everyone. I think we run out of time. Well done, everyone, for the first ever JavaScript. JavaScript program. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. 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 I just have one thing. I want my code that is, that is not working.